Hello, hockey fans, and welcome back to another episode of Whatever Happened To, the series where we take a where are they now look at players who once found success in the National Hockey League, but are no longer permanent fixtures in the league, either due to controversy, poor play, or just rotten luck. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at a 16 year veteran of the league and a six time 20 goal scorer, as we ask. Whatever happened to redeem Verbata? The 212th pick of the 1999 draft by the Colorado Avalanche, Redeem Verbata would spend the next two seasons post draft in the QMJHL, split between the Hull Olympics and the Shawinigan Cataracts, where he scored 85 goals and 194 points in just 114 regular season games, with a further 23 points in 25 playoff games. After producing a 56 goal, 120 point year during the 2001 season, the Czech forward would turn pro and join the Avalanche organisation for the 01 02 season, beginning the year with their AHL affiliate at the time, the Hershey Bears. However, after scoring 22 points in the first 20 games of the season, Verbata was called up to Colorado's roster and made his NHL debut on November 20, 2001. From there, Verbata would remain on the Avalanche roster for the rest of the year and produce a pretty impressive rookie season, spending much of his time playing on a line with Colorado legends Peter Forsberg and Joe Sackig, and scoring 18 goals and 30 points in 52 games, earning him 6th place in Calder voting in the process. The Czech forward would also get his first taste of the Stanley Cup playoffs too, but he went scoreless in 9 games, as the defending Stanley Cup champions were eliminated in the conference finals. Unfortunately for Verbata though, this would be his only postseason appearance for quite a while. The 0203 season would see Verbata earn a place on the Avalanche roster out of training camp and begin the year in the NHL for the first time in his career, but after scoring 11 goals and 30 points in 66 games, he was traded to the Carolina Hurricanes on March 11, 2003 in exchange for forward Bates Battaglia. The 22-year-old would join the Hurricanes for the rest of the year and finish the season by scoring 5 goals in 10 games, but Carolina missed out on the playoffs for the first time in 3 seasons. Verbata would then spend the following 03-04 season with the Hurricanes, but he would take a noticeable step back in his production, as he scored 12 goals and 25 points in 80 games, while Carolina missed out on the postseason once again. Despite these somewhat underwhelming numbers compared to years past, Verbata had little cause for concern. After all, he had garnered a reputation as a reliable middle six forward, he had put up decent depth scoring numbers in each of his years in the league, and he was still only 23 years old. The best seasons of his NHL career were certainly yet to come. But first, there was a lockout! During the 04-05 lockout year, Verbata decided to head back home for the first time since the 97-98 season and join Czech extraliga side Billy Tigri Libreg. The former 7th round pick would play very well in his native league by scoring 18 goals and 39 points in 45 games, along with a whopping 91 penalty minutes before returning to Carolina's roster for the upcoming 05-06 season. Once he was back across the pond, Verbata would begin his third year with the Hurricanes, but after scoring 5 points in the first 16 games of the season, he would be on the move once again. On December 30th, 2005, Verbata was traded to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for a pair of 4th round draft picks. From there, the Czech forward would spend the rest of the season in Chicago and finish the year strong by potting 13 goals and 34 points in 45 regular season games. Unfortunately though, Verbata wouldn't return to the Stanley Cup playoffs just yet, as Chicago failed to clinch a postseason berth for the fourth straight year. Once his contract had expired, and having produced a bounce back performance during the latter half of the season, Chicago were keen to keep their new forward around for the foreseeable future. So, on July 17, 2006, Verbata signed a two year, $2.4 million contract worth an average annual value of $1.2 million a season with the team. However, the 25 year old would no longer be a Blackhawk by the contract's conclusion. The 06 07 season saw Verbata take to the ice in his sophomore year with Chicago and pick his production up where he left it off the season prior, as he scored 14 goals and 41 points in 77 games. Though the Blackhawks would miss out on the playoffs once again and begin shifting their focus to the upcoming season, the Czech forward wouldn't be sticking around for much longer, 
as on August 11th, 2007, Chicago traded Verbata to the Phoenix Coyotes in exchange for forward Kevin Adams. Verbata would join the Coyotes for the 07-08 season and quickly began to flourish in the Arizona desert. The former 7th round pick would take his game to the next level by scoring 27 goals and 56 points in 76 games, his career high for both goals and points at the time. Despite this breakout season, the 27-year-old couldn't return to the playoffs once again, as Phoenix were unable to punch their ticket to the postseason for the 5th straight year. Once his two-year contract he signed back with Chicago was up, and having produced the best season of his career to date, Verbata was set to earn a pretty sizable raise from his prior $1.2 million salary. Soon after free agency began on July 1st, the Czech forward would find a team interested in paying him handsomely for his services, as Verbata signed a three-year, $9 million contract worth an average annual value of $3 million a season with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Having moved to his fifth NHL team in just six seasons, and having signed his first big money contract, Verbata knew that he had to keep producing at his recent scoring pace if he wanted to be seen as worthy of his new paycheck and continue making a multi-million dollar salary in the years to come. However, the upcoming season would present its fair share of difficulties. As the 08-09 NHL season got underway, and as Verbata took to the ice with Tampa for the very first time, the Czech forward was hoping to continue his strong play from seasons prior and make a great first impression with his new team. Unfortunately though, the former 7th round pick would struggle out of the gate, as he notched just 3 goals and 6 points in the first 18 games of the year. With his confidence at an all-time low, and with him going through some tough personal issues off the ice, as his wife was having difficulty dealing with a high-risk pregnancy, Verbata approached the Lightning's front office in early December, and asked if he could head home to the Czech Republic for the rest of the season. Upon hearing what the forward was going through, the Lightning granted his request soon after, on December 8th, 2008. Upon his return home, Verbata would take a month-long hiatus from the sport in order to be there for both his wife and his family, before signing with his hometown team BK Mlada Boleslav on January 2nd, 2009. After scoring 8 points in his first 11 games with the team, the 28-year-old was loaned to fellow Czech League side Billy Tigri Librek for the remainder of the season, where he kept up his strong production by potting 10 points in 10 games during the regular season and the playoffs combined. Having regained his confidence on the ice and with his personal issues being resolved off the ice thanks to the birth of his son in March of 2009, Verbata was ready to return to the NHL and begin the second year of his contract with Tampa. However, the Lightning had already filled Verbata's place on their roster, so they had little interest in bringing him back into the fold. In order to rectify this situation, the Lightning gave Verbata's agent permission to orchestrate a deal with another NHL team. This culminated in a trade being announced on July 21st, 2009, as Verbata was traded back to the Phoenix Coyotes in exchange for Todd Fedorak and David Hale. So having been traded for the fourth and final time of his NHL career, Verbata was returning to the Arizona desert and was getting the opportunity to pick up where he left off and build on his initial success with the team. Luckily for both Verbata and the Coyotes, he certainly wouldn't disappoint. Over the next three seasons, Redeem Verbata would suit up exclusively for Phoenix and return to his point-scoring ways of years past, as he potted 78 goals and 153 points in 238 regular season games, including a 35-goal, 62-point year during the 11-12 season. Not only would he set his career high in goals and earn himself a three-year, $9 million contract extension on July 1st, 2011, the Czech forward would also make his long-awaited return to the Stanley Cup playoffs. In fact, Phoenix would make it to the postseason in each of those three years, where Verbata would score 14 points in 27 playoff games, but the Coyotes would fail to make it past the first round in two of those years before falling in the conference finals in 2012. Having just produced the best season of his career to date, and with two years remaining on his contract with Phoenix, the 31-year-old had finally found a more permanent home in the National Hockey League, and was looking forward to being one of the Coyotes' most productive players for the foreseeable future. But first, there was another lockout! During the 12-13 lockout, Verbata would head back home to the Czech Republic once again, and rejoin his hometown team BK Mlada Boleslav. 
However, the former 7th round pick wouldn't be sticking around for long, as he scored 2 points in 2 games with the team before the lockout came to an end and he returned to the Coyotes lineup for the NHL season. From there, Vibata would spend the remainder of the 12-13 season, as well as the following year with the Coyotes, and although he was unable to return to his 35-goal, 62-point pace from a few years prior, he would still put up decent numbers. Over the next two seasons, Vibata scored 32 goals and 79 points in 114 games, including a 20-goal, 51-point year during the 13-14 season. Unfortunately though, this production wasn't enough to help Phoenix keep their playoff streak alive, as they failed to clinch a postseason berth in either of those years. Once his three-year contract extension with the Coyotes had expired, and with him consistently scoring at a 20-goal, 50-point pace in each of the last four seasons, many teams across the NHL were interested in acquiring the 34-year-old services for the upcoming year. Two days after free agency began, Vibata had officially chosen his new franchise, as on July 3rd, 2014, he signed a two-year, $10 million contract worth an average annual value of $5 million a season with the Vancouver Canucks. Having just signed the most expensive contract of his entire NHL career, Vibata was moving across the Canadian border for the very first time, with the aim of keeping up his strong performance from seasons prior. Though things would start off very well, he wouldn't always live up to his end of the bargain. The 14-15 season would see Verbata take to the ice with Vancouver and produce the best season of his entire NHL career. Playing alongside the Sedin twins for most of the year, the Czech forward produced 31 goals and 63 points in 79 games, good enough to earn his first and only place at the NHL All-Star game and help Vancouver clinch a berth in the playoffs at the conclusion of the year. Though this would be Verbata's first trip to the postseason in three years, it wouldn't last very long, as he scored four points in six games, as Vancouver were eliminated in the first round. The following 15-16 season would see Verbata back with the Canucks, but unfortunately he would take a huge step backwards compared to the year prior. The former 7th round pick would score just 13 goals and 27 points in 63 games during his sophomore year on the team, his lowest offensive output since his half-season stint with Tampa seven years ago. This production did nothing to help Vancouver's playoff hopes either, as the Canucks missed out on the postseason for the second time in three years. After his two-year contract had expired, and with him coming off his worst season since 2009, the 35-year-old forward knew that he still had some good years of hockey left in him before it was time to call it quits on his career. With him being far from a top free agent in his class given his age and recent performance, the Czech forward knew that he would have to be patient if he wanted to find the right home for the upcoming 16-17 season. In fact, it wouldn't be until six weeks after free agency began that Verbata would finally find a landing spot, as on August 16th, 2016, he signed a one-year, $1 million performance bonus field contract in order to rejoin the Arizona Coyotes. So after spending two seasons in Canada, Verbata was returning to a familiar franchise in the hopes of rediscovering his strong play with the team. While some may have already counted him out, Verbata was about to prove that third time really is the charm. The 16-17 season would see Verbata take to the ice with the Coyotes once again and find a new lease of life both in his overall play and on the scoreboard. The former 7th round pick would rebound from his prior season in Vancouver by scoring 20 goals and 55 points in 81 games, his best production with Arizona since his 35 goal year during the 11-12 season. If that wasn't impressive enough for you though, the Czech forward also set a new NHL record for the most goals scored in a shootout during their career with 43, although this record has since been passed by four different players in the years since. Unfortunately though, these strong numbers wouldn't be enough to help Arizona finally return to the playoffs, as the Coyotes missed out on the postseason for the fifth straight year. Once his one-year deal was up, and having proven he could still be an effective player at the NHL level, the Coyotes were in the process of entering a rebuild and wanted to focus on giving their younger players bigger roles on the roster, so they didn't offer Verbata another contract for the upcoming season. Though he likely would have wanted to stay in Arizona given his recent season, the Czech forward wasted little time finding employment elsewhere around the league. 
Luckily for Verbata, the 36-year-old didn't have to wait quite as long as last year to find a team interested in his services, as on July 1st, 2017, he signed a one-year, $2.5 million contract with the Florida Panthers. So after his third trip to Arizona, Verbata was joining another Sunbelt franchise on the other side of the league in the hopes of returning to the playoffs for the first time in three years and bolstering Florida's scoring depth during his twilight years. However, things wouldn't turn out the way that either he or Florida would have hoped. The 17-18 season saw Verbata suit up for the Panthers for the first time and look to continue his resurgent play from the season prior. Unfortunately though, he would end up doing quite the opposite, as he scored just 5 goals and 14 points in 42 games, while often being relegated to the press box as a healthy scratch. This production, or lack thereof, didn't do much to help Florida's playoff aspirations either, as the Panthers missed out on the postseason for the fifth time in six years. Once his contract with Florida was up, and having produced his worst single season numbers since his brief trip to Tampa in 2009, the 37 year old decided that it was time to call it quits. After playing 16 seasons in the NHL, split between seven different franchises, on April 7th, 2018, Redeem Verbata officially announced his retirement from playing professional hockey. After he had hung up his skates for the final time, Verbata quickly returned home to the Czech Republic in order to take on a managerial role with his hometown team, BK Mlada Boleslav, a team which he had been a minority owner of between the years 2011 and 2015. After serving as the team's manager for both the 1819 and recent 1920 seasons, the 39-year-old would make a surprise announcement. On August 28th, 2020, it was revealed that Verbata would be joining several other former NHLers by coming out of retirement for the upcoming 2021 season in order to join HC Samson Sesk Budajovic of the Czech League 4. To this day, Redeem Verbata is still a member of Budajovic's roster. Though a couple of teams in the Czech League 4 have already played a handful of games, at the time of this recording, Budajovic is yet to get their season underway. With Verbata coming out of retirement three years after calling it a day, and with his new team about to enter its first year of competition, will Verbata decide to stick around for another year and keep playing if things go well? Or has gathering a bunch of NHL alumni been more of a marketing ploy for the team, and will it end up being more of a one-season wonder? I guess we'll have to wait and see, folks. But regardless of what happens next, there is no doubt that Redeem Verbata had an incredible NHL career. In 1,057 regular season games, Verbata scored 284 goals and 623 points, with a further 18 points in 42 playoff games too. Add to that his all-star appearance in 2015, his six 20-goal seasons, and his estimated earnings of over $35 million, and he sure could have done a lot worse for himself during his career. Not bad for a seventh-round pick if you ask me, folks. And there you go. That's what happened to redeem Verbata. What do you guys think about Verbata's NHL career? Was it good, bad, or were you unaware of how long and how productive he was in the league? Also, is there another player you would like me to look at as part of this series? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. A big thank you to Carl Fairbank, Chris Gadsby, Connor B, Jordan Whitehead, Paul Malia, Roman from London, The Legacy, Tom from Finland, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further, and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.